Setting Delancey Stowe, Counselor at Law and General Insurance, Railway and Steamship Ticket Agent. Date Circa 1878. The business began with William Stowe, attorney, in 1825. It is unclear when they first began to sell insurance. In 1860, his son, Delancey, joined his father in business, and he was admitted to practice law in 1862. By the 1870s, they also sold railway and steamship tickets. William Stowe retired by 1880, according to the federal census. So, for the sake of interest, his father is assumed to still practice some law out of the office in 1878. Archival evidence also indicates that in the 1860s, Francis Reed, attorney and insurance agent, practiced with the Stowes. It is unclear if he was still working with the Stowes by 1878. In 1870, he still lived in Clyde, though by 1880 he had moved to Manhattan. But for added interest, it is assumed that he has. The interested farmer, Mr. McKenzie, is a fictitious farmer from Lyons, New York. He was well-to-do, both in real estate value and personal assets. Thus, he seemed like a likely prospect for wanting insurance. Hello? Excuse me, Mr. McKenzie. I'll, I'll be with you shortly. There's a book on the table if you'd like to look at it. I'll, it'll tell you all about our business. I'm sorry, Mr. McKenzie. As I was saying, for farmers like yourself, the Fire Relief Association of Wayne County specializes in fire and lightning insurance. But if you're leaning toward a more, shall we say, established firm, mind you, they're not local. We can fix you up with Aetna of Hartford, Home Insurance of New York, or even Phoenix of Hartford. I understand all that, Delancey, but I'm just not sure that now's the time for me to buy. Besides, what are the chances I'll have a fire? You remember how Mrs. O'Leary's cow started the Chicago fire back in 1871? You don't need to try and scare me, and we're very careful with the lanterns. I know, I know, but it's not just lanterns you have to worry about. You know what lightning can do. One strike, and it's all gone. The way I see it, that's an act of God. Granted, sir. But the beauty of insurance is peace of mind. If something does go wrong, even if it's not your fault, you and Ellen won't end up at the county poor farm. Yes, 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 but I'm still not convinced that it's worth it to gamble on the mere possibility of disaster. If nothing happens, I'm out all that money. $25 for three years is a big sum, Delancey. I could almost buy a new buggy for that. I understand perfectly, Mr. McKenzie. It's not a sum to be taken lightly. But I maintain that it's still worth thinking about. Now, if you'll kindly excuse me, I need to step next door just for a moment. Why don't you read this article on the benefits of insurance, and let's talk some more when I return, all right? Yeah, that's fine, but don't take too long. I don't have all day to spend here, you know. Won't be but a moment. Ah, Mr. McKenzie, I see you're reading about the benefits of fire insurance. Yes, sir. I do admit I find it interesting. Well, then, suppose we were to talk about what a fire insurance policy for you might look like. All right, but I don't have a lot of time, so just the facts, please. Well, if lightning strikes your farm, you may lose the barn or even the house, but your coverage will go a long way toward helping you rebuild. And think of your family, Mr. McKenzie. Imagine that, Lord forbid, you were to lose your livelihood because your crops and machinery had been destroyed. Without any assistance, what would happen to Ellen and the children? I'm, I'll concede that point, Delancey, but uh, how can I be sure that these big city insurance companies won't cheat me? Aetna, home insurance, these outfits you represent, they sure aren't local. And what kind of risk are they carrying anyway? How do I know they'll be there when I need them? I understand completely, Mr. McKenzie, but you needn't worry. We only represent well-established firms that you can trust. Why, Aetna's been in business since 1819. As for your concern about solvency, well, the New York State Insurance Department produces an annual report on the assets and liabilities of every fire insurance company in the state. If you like, I can review the financial health of each company I represent. I would never let you buy into a boondoggle. Uh, let's say you've convinced me. What do I do next? Well, let's look at what each company can offer. Oh, and you wanted to look at the assets of some of these companies, right? Oh, just a moment. Excuse me. 
Hello? Is there someone out front? If you don't mind and you're not in a rush, could you stop back tomorrow? Or you can take a look at that book on the table. It will tell you all about us. Have a good day.